Hi, I'm Julie Alexander. And I'm Aaron Alexander. Welcome to Freestyling. A combination of dance, acrobatics, and skateboarding all mixed together. Let's take a look at some pro freestylers in action. You're in the flashing, the message is clear. My very current is drawing me near. I feel a charge going through my body. Freestyle. The circuit's open. For novice skaters, whether you're 7 or 70, to master each action before going on to the next. And remember, safety is first. Safety equipment is good. You should wear safety equipment. I broke my arms four times. Once with no wrist guards and three times. No, that's backwards, isn't it? Case in point, here is one James McCall. He has a few mild manners, doesn't drink right out of a milk carton, and will be your instructor. 
First of all, there are three main tricks you must master in order to be able to freestyle like the pros. The first one is called walk the dog. Jim? To learn the trick walking the dog, place your lead foot in the center of the board. Then face straight ahead, step with your back foot up to the nose. Shift your weight forward and lift the back wheels. Spin the board a 180 while pivoting under the ball of your lead foot. Notice that the board swivels directly under your lead foot. Repeat the maneuver and bring the board back to its original position. Walk the dog can also be performed backwards. Again, place your lead foot in the center of the board facing straight ahead. But this time, step to the back of the board and shift your weight to lift the front wheels. Spin the board 180 degrees while pivoting under the ball of your lead foot. Now complete the maneuver by bringing the board back around. The one-footed version of walking the dog has been called the jaywalk. The pivot of the lead foot remains the key. The difference lies in the positioning of the foot. Jim's foot in the jaywalk is now over the trucks rather than the center of the board. Here's how. With your stance foot over the front truck, place your heel over the nose, keep your back foot on the kicktail. Always turn towards your instep to increase your balance and safety. The second of the three required steps is called spacewalk. Spacewalking is a lot like tic-tacking, but it's almost like a wheelie, but you're shifting your front board to side to side which gives you momentum to go forwards. In order to get the spacewalk down, you got to be in a solid skating position. Jack up the nose of the board by lining the arches of your feet over the back trucks and pressing down with your heels. This will force the board up like a wheelie. For the spacewalk, swing your arms and upper body counter to the direction of your feet and lower body. Try to keep your hips as straight as possible. Veer your arms to the right and your legs to the left. Now swivel the other directions, arms and torso to the left and legs and skateboard to the right. Repeat this motion until you feel like Chubby Checker twisting the night away. Let's check this out once more. Watch how Jim manipulates the board but manages to keep his hips straight. Notice the control. What exactly are the importance of, uh, of the three moves, the walk the dog, spacewalk, and wheelies? Um, I think the importance of those three tricks that you mentioned, walk the dog, spacewalk, and wheelies, is basically those are all transition tricks or control maneuvers. The more you learn that, the more control you really learn to have with your board. And in freestyle, those, tricks, those three tricks really form the basis of all the moves that you can learn from them. They're all setup moves and at the same time they're bailout moves. So if you can learn to get them down, you can inject the flow into your routine. For a tail wheelie, place both arches over your back trucks. Bear down on the kicktail with your heels. Keep your hips centered over the back trucks. Arch your back and maintain balance with your arms and slowly coast forward. Okay, the one wheel tail wheelie is basically just like a normal tail wheelie. You can put your feet, your front foot doesn't really matter where it goes, but your back foot is pretty critical. It has to be over the back truck, almost on top of it, but the rest, the heel of your foot has to be basically on the tail. And you just basically lift up and put a lot of pressure on the side of your board and wheelie at the same time. A good tip on that is to have your trucks as tight as possible. Okay, a regular nose wheelie is placing both your front and back foot in a parallel stance on the front of the board. It's a lot like hanging ten and surfing. And a good tip to this trick to hold your balance is to place both your arms as far as out as possible for your balance. Okay, the one-footed nose wheelie is a lot like the two-footed nose wheelie, but you're only using one foot. And it takes a lot of balance, I think more than the two-footed one because you're on one foot. And uh, another tip to this trick, just like the two-footed one, is to extend both arms for balance. Now that you've learned 
forward wheelies, you're ready for the backward wheelies. Check and double check that your practice area is safe and that there are no loose rocks hanging around. It's the exact same bit as the forward wheelie, but the motion is reversed. Check it out. Ready? 180, is that what we're doing? A 180 degree turn is basically a half of a 360 and it's basically your first maneuver as in turning and it's just half of a circle and your back foot should be directly over your, your back tail of your board and your front foot should be anywhere that feels comfortable and basically just do a 180 degree turn is just turning your upper body and your legs falling through in the motion. Okay, this trick is an end over which is a 180 maneuver on your skateboard. You place your front foot as far as possible on the front of your skateboard, and your back foot as far as back as possible, and you just pivot 180 degrees. I don't want to do that. Just do it. Just, just, sta just stand there going like that. My friends will make fun of me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Shannon May. Yeah. Do it. Ready? Ready? I'll just go like this, you won't even see my eyes. I'll be Ray Barbie. Yeah, boy! <laughs> so you think you're ready for some 360s, huh? Well, hey, I think you are too. Hi, I'm Tim Morris, and today we're going to talk to you about 360s. 360s are an important maneuver, not only in freestyle, but also in ramp skating and street skating as well. But to, in freestyle, 360s, you use your arms for more gravitational pull as you're spinning. The more you whip your arms to get a rotational effect, the longer that you can spin. Also, a lot of practice is required as well. You also notice that keeping your back as straight as possible and performing 360s on a straight and level ground also aids in learning this maneuver quickly. There's a lot of variations of the 360s, as you see in the film, one-footed, two-footed, backside and frontside, one wheel, and there are many others to be discovered. And this is a little quick tip on 360s. 360s can be performed from any wheelie position. To pull off a decent spin, you must remember to A, bend your knees and rotate your shoulder and arms in the direction of the spin, and B, center your body over the pivotal truck, keeping your upper body erect and your face forward. The shoulder rotation provides a surge of power needed to complete the 360 and body position provides the balance needed to stay afloat. Initially, it's a tall order to get past the 180 mark. Okay, consecutive 360s are just like a normal 360, but it's just more spins on your skateboard. You can put your feet where you f anywhere on the board where you feel more comfortable. Um, some people put them closer together or farther apart. I think basically you should start out with your feet farther apart and then move your feet, your front foot back to, so you'll spin faster and also bring your arms in so you'll keep spinning. The nose wheelie 360 spin is a lot like the regular nose wheelie using two feet but you're going into an arc circle and it's good to use the upper portion of your body to wind up before any spin. It's really good to do this using the upper portion of your body to get momentum going and you kind of carve into it and as you go around you should bring your arms in as in any kind of 360 spin to get your momentum going faster and faster but do it gradually okay the nose heely is using both your feet together in a parallel stance using the front part of your board turned around and it's almost like a backwards tail wheelie with your feet parallel together and you're going backwards and like any wheelies it's always good to extend your arms for balance okay the one-footed nose heely is almost the same thing as the regular two-footed one but again then again you're only using one foot and any one foot maneuvers take a lot more balance and a lot more practice and like I've said again just extend both arms and it hold out for balance and it's basically just like a one-footed backward wheelie. There's a whole slew of fancy footwork stunts used in freestyle. One of the upscale tricks is called the shove it. The board spins laterally below the skater's feet. The 360 shove it is done by putting both feet on both ends of the board 
With your board turned around, riding frontwards, it's much easier to do with your tail in front of you. And kind of wedge your back foot on the edge of the rail and squat down and thrust forward while the board goes underneath you into a 360 and land back on it. Think of it as just an overblown 180. It's the same thing, just jump higher and thrust the board harder. The board will probably hit you in the shins the first few times, so wear your safety equipment and jump as high as you can. To the freestyler, the ollie is a basic tool for board management. Center the heel of your back foot on the kicktail. Lay your front foot across the midsection of a board and allow it to roll forward for better control in flight. To get the board airborne, you must smack the tail on the ground and immediately roll your front foot so that it yanks the board upward through the air. If you've perfected the ollie technique, try grabbing the nose of the board. When the time comes that you feel you can control the board like that, shoot the works and try these additional steps. The ollie, grab the nose, airwalk, replace the board, and land in your regular skating stance. This is the single kick flip. And the way you put your feet on the board is basically put it parallel, about in the middle of the board. One foot's pretty much wedged on the rail of the board, and the other foot is halfway on the rail. And what you're going to do is crouch down, apply pressure on your wedged foot on the rail, and jump to either the left or right. And when you lunge into the air, flip the board with your foot, and the board should flip 1360 and you're laying back on it. Okay, the double kick flip is a lot like the single kick flip. Is you put both feet on top of the board almost in a parallel stance and wedge one foot on the side of the board and crouch down and then put a lot of pressure on the, when you have your foot wedged and then when you come back up after the crouch flip the board with the wedged foot and on a double you have to put more pressure on it than a single. The 180 kick flip is a lot like a normal single kick flip. Your, your feet are basically in the same position, parallel stance, but when you do this, you have to keep in mind when you land, your front foot has to hit the nose of the board when the board recovers from the 360 spin, and you have to almost do a 180 when you land as soon as you hit it. The 180 ollie flip. Okay, this trick is more of an advanced maneuver. You place your front foot just under the front trucks and your back foot just past the back trucks. And it's almost kind of like a pressure flip where you're putting a lot of pressure on your front foot and pressure on your back foot. And when you crouch down and ollie, you're kind of almost shoving the board out and also putting pressure on both sides to where the board will flip and spin at the same time and hopefully you land back on the board. <laughs> the handstand kick flip is an advanced handstand maneuver. It's actually a handstand dismount kick flip which you you're basically doing a handstand and you have your hands uh, there's different ways you could put your hands but I basically put my hands about right here Okay, once you have your hands in the right location, you pretty much do almost, it's almost like a half of a push-up on your hands to get the pressure to build up to flip the board back to your feet. And I would probably advise the beginner to try to do it in the grass at first so you don't hurt yourself or carpeting perhaps. Okay, the handstand wheelie is basically a wheelie but you're doing a handstand. And a good tip on this maneuver is to place your hands right here. Your back hand definitely over the tail. And it helps you to drag the tail so you can keep your balance and put most of your weight, um, most of your portion of your weight on the back of your hand. So when your, your kick tail's sliding on the surface, you can catch your balance. And a handstand wheelie kick flip dismount is basically putting the last two tricks I've just told you together which is placing your hands right here go into a wheelie putting most of your weight on the tail of your board and then come back down in the same position as your hands and flip the board a 360 revolution back to your feet the handstand tic tac is basically two maneuvers put into one it's doing a regular handstand and tic-tacking at the same time. 
which is where you put your hands are basically your front hand right underneath the front truck and your back hand right at the back tail of the, of the skateboard and what you do is basically do a tic-tac from left to right and which gives you the momentum to go forward while in a handstand. The freestyle board is designed to stand up on its side. This grants us the luxury of performing rail tricks. This is a 180 transfer on the rail. Basically put both your feet on top of the wheels directly over the trucks and put a lot of pressure on your toes of your feet. Kind of like curl them down to keep the pressure there. And basically just squat down and stand up and throw the back of your feet and the back of you and land onto the other rail. What we're doing now is the rail 360 which is basically there's two different ways to do it. Um, the first way is to get up onto your rail, put both feet on top of the trucks over top of the wheels and spin a 360 on the rail but it's always, like I said, any kind of spin, it's always good to wind up your upper portion of your body to get the momentum going so you'll, you'll complete the revolution of the 360. And it's always good on this uh, rail 360 is to kind of put a little bit of pressure onto the nose, the rocker of the nose, so that you'll spin easier and not dragging your wheels onto the ground. And the other variation of the rail 360 is starting like this and basically getting the momentum of your arms again as in a spin and kicking the board up to the rail and spinning around like this and come back down and land on it. The basic finger flip is pretty much putting both your feet together on the tail of the board in a standing position and with your left hand reach down and put it on the nose of the board and just spin it and jump up at the same time let the board do one revolution and land back on it you can also do this rolling and there's other variations of this trick the double finger flip is pretty much just like the normal single finger flip but you're going to do two revolutions of a spin instead of one and you basically put your feet in the same way and you can put your hands on the top of the board or on the side to get more pressure and to do any kind of a double finger flip or kick flip you have to put, apply more pressure to the board so that you'll spin one more revolution and basically the board spins around twice and you'll land back on it the 180 backward rolling finger flip is basically turn the board around and roll backwards put your back foot directly over the tail of the board which is now the nose of the board and your front foot should be directly behind the front truck of the board and basically squat down grab the board with your left hand hit the nose of your board as you're going backwards and finger flip it and it should spin a 180 and you'll land back on it Rail to pogo is basically starting from the rail, having both feet over top of the trucks, and your right foot should be a little bit past the wheel, going towards the center of the bottom of the board. And you want to put a lot of pressure on that when you're picking up the board with your hand, so that the board will just turn right to the truck, when your foot should be directly on top of the truck by now and you can start to pogo. This next trick is a finger flip to pogo but any pogo trick you should use some kind of safety equipment such as a shin guard here and you can put it right inside of your sock just like this. This will keep your legs safe from any metal part of the board hitting your leg because this is a very sharp kingpin right here, this bolt right here, or the metal part of the truck itself could hit you. So you always want to wear some kind of safety equipment while you're doing pogos, such as this. 
Pogo finger flip to pogo. Like I've said before, in any pogo trick, you should definitely use a shin guard for protection, especially any finger flip to pogo, because the board is spinning around, you're going to catch it between your legs, and the middle part is going to hit right there. And basically what you're doing is you're pogoing already, like this, and you're going to finger flip the board, and as you're doing that, you're jumping up so you have enough time for the board to complete the revolution, and you'll catch it between your legs and continue to pogo. The spacewalk 50-50 is just like a normal spacewalk, but you're up on the truck of the board. Your back foot is on top of the board, and your front foot is underneath the board, such as this. And you're pretty much using your upper body strength to pivot back and forth, just like a normal spacewalk. The rolling backwards 50-50 is basically what you're going to do is get up onto the trucks with your feet and it's not using any portion of your hands to pull the board up it's mainly using your feet themselves and what you do it's, it's easier easier to use the, the nose of your board to go backwards to hit the surface first and where you put your feet are basically right below the front trucks on your front foot and your back foot should be a little bit above the back trucks so that you can have a little bit of a wedge to flip it over and you can put a lot of pressure on your front foot to get it over just like any Casper but you're gonna have to put a lot of pressure at the same time on your back foot to get it up in the air and spin around and land back on it. The Impossible a trick that was made up by Rodney Mullen the current world champion it's virtually impossible so I'm not gonna do it No basically you can do it several different ways. The easiest and basic first way is to do the normal impossible which is put your board pretty much like this, your back foot on the tail of the board, keeping your board in an upright position like this, and your front foot goes underneath the front part of your board directly right above the front truck. And what you're doing here is you're gonna throw the board completely end over end over your back foot and it's kind of like a kickflip but long ways and here's a little tip that I've learned by myself is to kind of pivot throw, throw your weight into like a 90 degree turn when you're doing this maneuver and at, when you're at this point have the board like up in the air and then scoop the board or underneath or around your foot rather and land back onto the board and a 360 revolution around your foot. Remember, freestyle is about fun, about being creative, about doing things your own way. Learning these tricks requires concentration and all your motor skills. You cannot do these tricks if you're on drugs. Skating is a natural high. There's a whole real world out there. Thrash it, don't trash it with drugs. Just skate straight. Bye.